Hey Musos, Average Musician here. Today I'm going to show you the basics of mixing bass so you can get that nice fat sound. Let's begin. Regardless of the bass sound that you have, you want the, the bass to fill out the bottom end of the mix. Even if it's indistinguishable from the finished product, as is so often with, with music, you can't tell if you're looking for the bass, you can't tell where it is in the mix. But if you remove it, then it is uh, instantly noticeable. Same goes if you have a very thin bass sound. So to illustrate, I'll just play you this section um, with the bass, and then without the bass, and you'll be able to tell. Make sense? Huh? There's no oomph driving it, there's no bass going on. Even if, you know, when you first heard it, you think, well, I couldn't tell what the bassist was actually playing. Alright, so when I uh, mix bass, uh, it's it's just a very very simple process. I, I do basically two things. Um, I EQ it and I compress it. Uh, now when I use my EQ, um, I solo that. Generally what I do is I boost the bottom end, I prop up the mids a little bit and then I drop the high end off off completely because I like a bit of a a bit of a gung, 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 gung sound. So if you listen to the bass on its own, you can hear that it does have that sound. I'm no bassist, so my bass playing sounds very sloppy, and I use a pick, so it does have that gung, gung, gung sound, but I, I quite like that, and when it's in the mix, um, it really, it's not noticeable, or the gung, gung, gung is not harsh, I guess, uh, yeah, as if it had a lot of highs because it's in the mid range it sort of blends in with the 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 driven guitar it has this really nice sound so it actually sounds like someone is playing it rather than a midi um, a midi bass that you know that's just got a dull mm sound okay so that's how, that's how I EQ it. Now you can play around uh, a bit and you know drop the mids if you want a, a more subtle bass and in some of my songs I, I do like that. Um, but it needs to have the bottom end. Now if you're worried about it being too bassy and it is too bassy if I'm mixing with my um, headphones, right? Um, you need to test it on other speakers, especially computer speakers with a subwoofer is a good example. Car speakers, um, a great example as well. So run it once you've finished your mix go and play it and then have a listen if the bass is overpowering then you just drop the bottom end don't turn the entire bass channel down just drop the bottom end a little bit in the eq and that should sort it out um so and it's also worth having the um low shelf the the bottom eq at not right at the bottom but just just beyond the bottom so this isn't a visual eq so it's a bit difficult to show um, now the other thing that i do is i compress it this is, I'm just using the compressor in, the default compressor in Cubase. So go in there and as you can see, this is all default. The attack and the hold, just default, release is, is default. Now I've set, set the ratio at three, um, which is fairly standard. It's not, not limiting it, it's still allowing some of the high end, but it's, it's, it's compressing it quite a lot. And the threshold is quite a way down. So if I solo the bass, um, you'll hear, hear what I mean see what I mean I should say. You can see here that I'm compressing quite a lot. Now in this section it's not too noticeable because I'm, I'm chugging on the bass, um, I'm getting the full bass sound. But if I go to the start, I've got some picking, picking bass. Now if I remove the compressor, Well, first thing you notice is that the volume is much less, but that's only because I'm using the compressor to, to bring the volume up. You don't have to do that, you can just increase the volume in the channel. But you can notice that, that the notes are fading very quickly, and what the compressor does is flattens out the bass channel, and it, it only really works, like you can compress lots of stuff, but heavy compression works very, very, very well on bass to keep, give it that nice fat sound and that's what gives it that nice fat sound so when you're listening to music and someone hits one note and it just rings out forever it's just that's just ridiculous it's either midi or they've compressed the hell out of it so 
Using a compressor really, really fattens this sound. You hear how the notes um, spread out over time. They don't, they don't diminish nearly so much. So pretty much that's all you need to do. An, an EQ and a, a, a compressor, fairly heavy uh, compressor. Now if you don't know how to use compressors, um, there are some good YouTube videos. It's, it's not hard to learn at all and it is an, an amazing skill, um, skill to have. So that's pretty much the basics of um, mixing bass. Now you can use uh, an amp simulator if you like especially if you're just DI'ing straight through an, an interface without an amp. Um, there are some amp simulators within um, uh, Cubase. So let's have a listen and see what it sounds like. Bass Amp California. So that's got, a, that's got a, a, quite a high sound. and it's taking some of the bottom end out, so I would want to edit it. That one's not bad. Actually, I quite like that one. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. So I, I hope you learn a little bit. If you were uh, not getting a very good bass sound, hopefully this helps. All right, cheers.